Hey, I'm Craig, and today for the Surfboard Guide, we're going to check out the Tuna Bunny Twin by Route 1 Surfboards. So I'm going to start, there's probably a lot of people out there who probably don't know who Route 1 Surfboards are. So uh, Route 1 Surfboards is a guy, a shaper called Malachi, uh, and they're in Monterey in California, so the central coast of California. Uh, I spent some time there a couple of years ago and I think I had the coldest surf I've ever had in my entire life. I thought I was actually going to freeze, uh, but a really wave rich and really amazing part of the California coast. Um, so I was able to get a couple of boards off Malachi, uh, and this is the first one. This is a Tuna Bunny Twin. Um, so it is a twin fin uh, with a trailer, uh, and it's more of a performance twin. So we looked at a few different kind of keels and stuff like that, but it does have much more of a kind of performance outline, um, but the benefits of a twin fin. Uh, so this is 5'8", 20 and a quarter, two and a half, and it comes in at 31.9 liters. Um, flipping over the Tuna Bunny, it's pretty simple. Uh, on the bottom, we have a single concave through the front, uh, nothing too aggressive or deep. And then it feels like it just comes to a nice, really gentle double uh, through the fins there. So that's just gonna keep board uh, water moving under the board and just keep the board really easy to surf, really lively and nice and fast. Um, another really interesting thing about um, both boards that I got from Route One and from Malachi was they're both uh, eco boards. So I don't know if you're aware of a, a uh, organization called sustainablesurf.org uh, and what they're trying to do is make um, surfboards and that that have less impact and less carbon footprint um, on the planet. Uh, so this is one of them. This is a, a level one uh, eco board and it was really cool. So I think one of the things that's really interesting with this is it's also a stringed EPS blank. So um, a lot of people probably written EPS, you know, stringless with carbon and all that sort of stuff. Uh, but this is EPS foam uh, with a stringer and it feels like it's got epoxy resins over it. So what that does, it keeps it really nice and lively and it feels really nice underfoot. Um, so I've had the Tuna Bunny for probably month, month and a half and I've been surfing it quite a bit. I've surfed it on some really small and average days and I've also surfed it there was one surf I had where I lived that was probably like four to six foot, really heavy. I actually dislocated my shoulder and bit through my tongue, uh, getting absolutely hammered. Um, but pretty surprising that a twin fin still held up in those heavy waves. Um, but yeah, for the majority of stuff, around the three to foot range, uh, the tuna bunny was absolutely epic. As a twin fin, um, well, with that volume, it paddles really, really well and it gets into waves nice and early. And the twin fin feels really nice and loose and lively. You can get it, you know, in some really nice turns and it's easy to maneuver. But something that's really cool about this is I guess at 31.9 liters, it's, it's quite high-ish volume for what I normally ride. But this rail kind of drops away and it's not too full on the rail. Um, kind of I'd call it like maybe a mid to full rail, uh, nothing crazy. But what is really cool and kind of helped it give a bit more performance um, was as it comes along here, it actually kind of drops off a bit and it kind of has this squarer and sharper edge. So what that allowed was I guess I'd be surfing and I'd have this twin fin looseness, but then when I actually got the rail, you know, in the water, it really gripped and you could actually push probably more than you could on like a normal twin fin. It didn't feel like it was gonna jump out of the water or get sketchy, uh, especially with the T1s, which aren't a huge or a very stiff twin fin. Um, so yeah, I surfed this across a whole variety of conditions, you know, in that kind of two to four foot range, it felt really at home. Uh, had all the benefits of a twin fin, really lively, really loose. Uh, but the performance characteristics of a short board that you know you could actually do some really good, well the best that I could anyway, uh, some really good surfing. Some of those waves were kind of where I normally kind of go towards a short board, but I felt completely at home on the Tuna Bunny. There was nothing it kind of couldn't do and I really enjoyed surfing it. In the Tuna Bunny, it's pretty simple. Uh, Malachi's written on here, ride with T1 with trailer. And I did that. Here's the shaper. He designed the board and I got the Futures T1s. Um, so this is a twin fin plus a trailer by Futures. They're actually quite soft. They're not a, like overly stiff fin. I don't know if you can see that. There's quite a bit of flex in the fin. Um, 
But yeah, and I'm like 90 to 95 kilos, I'm quite heavy. But this felt absolutely mental. I actually thought I might've gone to like the EN or something a bit stiffer, a bit bigger with more surface area. But this felt absolutely mental. Like I said, the twin fin with the trailer uh, has this really nice looseness and you can kind of release through your turns and you know, it's really maneuverable. Uh, but the edge on the back end of this board uh, mixed with that swallowtail, once you got that rail into the water and kind of buried it, it had a lot more hold than you'd probably normally get from your twin fins. Um, so that was absolutely epic. I had one surfer, I put AM2s in it. So that's a large Almeric um, thruster set. Uh, it felt okay. I had more of a shortboard feel, um, but the twin fins, the T1s of the trailer, felt absolutely perfect. So I got those AM2s out pretty quick. absolutely love the tuna bunny. The thing was absolutely epic. Uh, there's so many good shapers out there and sometimes we only know about or hear about a handful. So it's really cool for me in Sydney, Australia to be able to check out a shape from someone in Monterey, California. Bring that board to, to Sydney, you know, you know, our average kind of beach break conditions and the board to be absolutely mental across all those conditions. Uh, also, it's really cool to check out the Eco Board project. Um, you know, they're trying to do some really positive things for our environment but by no means does it take away from the performance characteristics of this board. Uh, actually, the string at EPS and the construction felt so nice. It was so light and lively, and it felt really good underfoot. Look, overall, absolutely frothed out the tuna bunny. This is something that's gonna sit in my quiver for a long time to come. Uh, I'm stoked that I was able to check this board out, and hopefully you get a chance to check one out too. Thanks so much for watching.